Welcome to Just Ask Bobby, where we ignite your automotive curiosity, starting with the heartbeat of every vehicle, the car battery. I'm your host, Ed Blair, and joining me is Bobby Varela, our tech expert on all things Porsche. Today, we're discussing car batteries and exploring how to keep them healthy and what to consider when it's time for a replacement. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be an electrifying ride. Good afternoon, Bobby. How are you today? I'm doing well, Ed. How are you? Fantastic. You know, when we were young, we would change out car batteries. We would just take them out of the car, go over to the auto parts store, grab a new battery and stick it in the car. Seems times have changed. It seems car batteries are more sophisticated. There are different types of car batteries and not every car takes any type of battery. So with that being uh, said, specifically Porsches, Bobby, what kind of batteries are required in Porsches? Well, that's a good question. Um, fully charged batteries, of course. Yep, that's the first start. And um, today's new cars are requiring uh, lithium ion batteries. Uh, and that's because of a lot of the electronics that are going on. Um, and the idea is that the lithium ion battery will last longer. Uh, old school batteries, lead acid uh, and uh, AGM were good for about four to six years. Uh, lithium ion batteries good for about eight to ten years. That's great. I understand they're, rel they're relatively expensive too. They are. They're between $2,500 to $3,600. Yes. Is there any truth to the lithium ion batteries coming out of directly from Porsche being a lot more expensive? Absolutely. Uh, you know, so starting at $2,500 a battery compared to $500 as uh, a quite a big jump and leap. And to warranty the battery, Porsche is requiring you to at least put on 500 miles every six months. Otherwise, you cannot warranty the battery with them. Wow, that's interesting. I, I, did, not, I did not know that. So tell me something. Um, what kind of cars take lithium ion batteries? Well, that's a good question. Um, so EVs, electronic vehicles, take lithium ion battery. Um, and any car with RAS for Porsche, which is rear active steering. So the GT3s have rear active steering so that the rear wheel will move just slightly, uh, allowing the car for better handling. Um, so they have uh, introduced a lithium ion battery uh, to the cars. So are we saying that any, uh, any Porsche that has rear wheel steering as Correct. Any Porsche with RAS system has a lithium ion battery um, and there are uh, pretty much starting from 992 forward, most of the vehicles are going to have a lithium battery. Wow, okay, so the cost of batteries has jumped significantly for the, uh, for the latest uh, iteration of the 911, I imagine. Absolutely, and you know, you got to understand a lot of reason why they are wanting the batteries to be coded, two reasons. One, they want to retain the client, bring them back to the dealership. And second, they want to code the battery so that the car doesn't overcharge the battery. That's the reason for the coding. Okay, some of you listening to this right now may be wondering what that is. According to Porsche and possibly some other car manufacturers, when you buy a new battery and you st install it in your car, you're required to reprogram the car so the car understands that there's a new battery. Um, Bobby, it's been my understanding that as the battery ages, the car actually um, decreases the amount of uh, charging capacity over time. Is that correct? That is correct. I see. Okay, great, great. Um, now, the other big question I have for you, what kind of batteries, because nobody wants to pay for a, uh, for a Porsche battery, it seems, what other kind of batteries work well in, in, in Porsche cars? Sure, so if the vehicle does not require a lithium ion battery, it can take uh, an AGM battery, uh, one offered by Interstate, for instance. They offer uh, a good battery program. Um, and uh, DECA, D-E-K-A, is another uh, well-recognized battery. Uh, th those two are definitely uh, formidable for Porsche. So, so what you're telling us uh, is that you don't necessarily have to go with the Porsche brand battery. Uh, there are other brands of batteries that will work just as well and service just as, as well as the factory OEM, is that correct? That is correct. Oh good, okay, so that might save our viewers some money. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, any other battery tips that you could give us? 
Um, charging maybe? Anything else? Definitely. Good question. Um, putting your car on a trickle charger, because most Porsches are typically the family's third or fourth vehicle, they don't get driven as much. So putting the battery on a trickle charger to help maintain the battery charge status is uh, definitely a smart thing to do. Excellent, excellent. Is there any other tips or thoughts before we say goodbye to our audience out there? Absolutely. Um, if you're going to charge a battery because your vehicle is dead, make sure that the key is out of the ignition and that you put the correct terminals on the correct terminal. Otherwise, you will destroy the car. That seemed like a thing that goes on from time to time. Oh, absolutely. Okay, you guys listen to that very carefully. You need to make sure you connect your battery charger correctly. If not, you're going to be dealing with a very expensive repair bill and nobody wants that. Um, once again, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your time. Um, this is, this is, I'm Ed Blair, this is Bobby Varela, and uh, thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.